For most people, the ash was more of a nuisance than anything else. But as the lava dome began to grow, the risks of a deadly pyroclastic flow increased. Choir member Alvin Green was amongst the first people to be affected. We had a series of pyroclastic flows that day, and um, as it gets later in the evening, it started to get a bit worse in that um, what it actually does, the stuff would come down and fill in the ravine first. It would like make a path. So to each time it goes further and maybe get a little higher, it's coming over land and stuff. So um, the scientists, they did not want to take any chance then. So they ordered an evacuation. And so with that, um, the same day I had to leave here. Yeah. Today, the houses that haven't been engulfed by ash or pyroclastic flows remain in an exclusion zone. It might be illegal to go there, but for the thousands of evacuees like Alvin, the emotional pull is simply too much. I've been back to my area a couple of times just to see what it's like and, uh, and um, just to get uh, some memories again of, of my old place, you know. So I've been there a couple of times, but it's not the same. I mean, I, I learned to understand that I, I won't be going back. But when I do go there, I just reminisce and say, boy, this is where I used to live, this is what I used to do here, you know, those things. And, but um, I think I've, I've, I'm beginning to let go, I've learned to let go. And because uh, then if you don't, it can um, have a mindset on you and, 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 and uh, kind of offset you or throw you back, you know. So I think I've learned to, to let go. And the evacuation didn't just affect people's homes. Businesses were affected too. I mean, we had a town and we had an economy. And there were many businesses in the old Plymouth. Our store was only about 50 yards away from the seafront. So we were right in the middle of town. Um, quite a bit of our store and, and our stocks were left behind in Plymouth by now buried up, um, but we took as much as we could, but most of the businesses have been eliminated. Today, Romeo has reopened his hardware store in the north of the island. But in 1996, many others who were faced with no job, no prospects and no home, decided to leave, taking up the British government's offer of being able to relocate to the UK. By forcing people to leave, the volcano divided families and had a huge emotional impact on people's lives, including Romeo's. We boarded a plane, I remember um, crying my eyes off when the plane lifted from Blackburn Airport. I spent three days in Antigua working at the airport, helping elderly people and other people to board their flights to go to other places. And um, three days time I said, hey, I gotta go back home. Well, it, was, it was an emotional time for me. And um, I came back home and I haven't been anywhere since. <laughs> 